It is heavily involved in myelination, and scientists are currently researching it to find out ways we can use it to manipulate its power to promote myelin repair. Name the problem, and it fights it. <laughs> CNS inflammation, autoimmunity, degeneration. It goes to battle them all. Our myelinating cells express all the major types of it and is highly expressed in white matter. In the multiple sclerosis war, I'm glad I'm not MS and in its direct crosshairs. Hey, it's Dave. The attack multiple sclerosis has and ha conducts on our brain and spinal cord is intense, believe me. I have felt it and I'm sure you do too. The victim, Mylan, has been wounded. Acetylcholine, as well as dopamine, regulates neurogenesis. I made quite a few videos about it. My MS recovery is so complete I will continue to make more. Acetylcholine has had that much effect on me. It comes to us as choline. It's found in many foods, such as eggs and poultry. But to get the most out of it, I take a supplement. There are two different variations of it that work in slightly different ways. CDB choline and alpha GPC. Combining both amplifies the effect. But there is a caveat that took me a little time to figure out. That's why I'm telling you now, so you won't have make the mista same mistake I did. CVB choline is longer lasting, while Alpha GPC has a half life of four to six hours. CVB choline takes around sixty to seventy hours to fall to its half of its original value in your bloodstream meaning it can give you effects for quite a long time. That's all great, but Alpha GPC can reach more brain regions. So both are capable of crossing the blood brain barrier. Getting back to my big mistake. My mistake was taking it right before bed. Although choline has been linked to sleep, they don't recommend to take it right before bed. For me, I know in my experience, oh, it actually led me to be more awake. But taking it right after waking up is the perfect time. It gives me a, just a little boost and more of a, that awake feeling. I can probably guess what you were thinking right now. Steve, that's great, but I don't need it. I drink coffee. So I, I don't need to spend money on something that is less powerful than that. If that's a long, the lines of what you're thinking, let me stop you. Choline. 
does far, far more. Choline is protective for our central nervous system. It has been shown to promote remyelination. Now, do I have your attention? I take, I take a pretty standard dose, two pills of each. The bone, the hope of remyelination sparks the desire to hurry things up and speed it along. So you might think, hey, why don't I take more? But you don't want to go there. Too much acetylcholine is not good either. Too much of it increases saliva. It can also cause breathing difficulties, decreases the heart rate, dilates the pupils, and <laughs> increases sweating. So take your time. There's no rush. After taking it for years, I can show you the great benefits it has on my sleep. It levels me out. To just say it bluntly, towards the end of the day, I naturally start to slow down. Looking at my sleep scores when I wake up, I see where it's taking me. I'm consistently achieving great sleep scores. But I want to jump back and make another comment I, I made about that scientific paper I mentioned. They even say, due to its regenerative action combined with this excellent safety profile, CDP choline could become a substance become a promising substance for patients with multiple sclerosis as an add-on therapy. I want to emphasize that term as an add-on therapy. It can't do the job all on its own. All five essential elements Plus, the elimination of Epstein-Barr virus is what it takes. And each element does its own small part. But adding up all those small parts, you get the complete life-changing benefit. What are your thoughts? Have you tried it? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Until the next one.